Hi guys, uh, I'm here with Trevor O'Connor, um, who passed his stage three to become a qualified instructor yesterday. He got a 95.5% score on the stage three. On his stage two, he got clean sheet, no, no marks at all, okay, on the, on the on the stage two. And on stage one, passed that, no problem with that. So, congratulations, Trev. Thanks very much. What the purpose of this video is, is to help people that are watching this, like yourself, who are thinking about where will I train to become a driving instructor, that the content in this will be valuable for you and that you'll be able to use it um, and make the decision where I'm going to, uh, where I'm going to train, right? So if I want to go back to the start with Trevor when he contacted me in relation to the T, actually the process, you know? So Trevor, you can go on from when you were applying material that I sent to you, you went studying. So where did it go for me from, from when we first met? Yeah, so when, when I first contacted Kevin, um Straight away he replied to me um, with a quick chat. He sent me on all the relevant information that I needed for the stage one. Um, some of it is not out there though. You, some of the some of the information is not quite out there online. You've got to find it. You, yeah, you, you, yeah. You there find there it. is. Um, and some of the websites wouldn't be as easily easy to navigate maybe as they should be, you know. Mm, mm, mm. Um, so straight away Kevin sent me the forms for the guard clearance for the application for the ADI, um, study material, where to find stuff. So... I had a lot to work on straight away and, and to work with straight away, so I got my head down, started going back over the, the rules of the road, learning all them tools, all the simple things that you might forget. How long do you think it took you to study the actual syllabus? So like with four weeks, five weeks, what would you be recommending to people to get to do this and do it right first time? I'd say eight weeks. Eight weeks, right? Yeah, okay. yeah. Depending on someone's level and how much time they have, you know, if, you're trying, if you're trying to fit it in with a full time job and a family, yeah. you might only fit a couple of hours in in the evening, you know. But there mm. is a lot in it, and um, because of the way, you know, you you want to get it done and get it done right and get it done the first time. I always past. reckon that it's the, the phase one is the most difficult because it's it's totally new jargon, it's totally new content, it's out of your comfort zone, and it's like retraining everything again. All right, so people who are involved with cars and motoring, they might find it easier, but if you take somebody from a total different profession, there's a lot of new information there that they've got to absorb. Yeah. And I think it takes you two or three times to do that full syllabus uh, of stage one to pass stage one you know yeah 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 well I, as i said i was going over over the the information every night after work um doing mock theory tests just just to get used to all the different signals even from when i done it like the difference now like there's tram lines and yeah you know there's a lot yeah. more say contraflow bus lanes yeah. in the city and yeah yeah a lot of stuff theory, like yeah. that you know there is a lot of theory involved in it yeah, yeah. so we moved on so we passed that then and then we were applied for stage two right and as we were applying for stage two we did a couple of lessons so that you could see what it's all about okay how he wants the maneuvers done how the tester wants you to drive the way we don't drive every day basically so a higher level stuff right so you got no marks on that right means which means you got a clean sheet which means you're driving and did, did he comment on your on your when you had passed did he make any comments on that type of on, on what he said about he your did. driving he was very complimentary to me driving at the end um i have to say he's he, he's the particular tester that came out with me was was amazing and um, put me at ease i was quite nervous going out mm -hmm. um even though i you know i'm mm -hmm. i'm a very experienced driver um but he was he was very good very very experienced. And what did you, you know, we we're driving every day, you're driving 20, 30 years. What did you, what did you get from the lessons that you felt, God, I didn't, I wouldn't know, have known that, or I, I didn't know you have to do that, and there's so much detail in that. And of course, there are other um, trainers out there that is not as particular as I am in, in how I want things done, you know. So if you can give the viewer here a, a, an idea about how particular we are about getting the, the job done properly for the stage two, and when we talk about stage three then. Well, I know, I know it's for myself, when it came to the stage two, you were very confident in me from the start. And the first time we went out, you brought me to. So when we when you were, I demonstrated. First. You you were you were bringing me out and and on on routes. So the, the part of the uh, city that I done the test in, I wasn't overly familiar with, not from the area. Um, but you brought me to remember up to Bowernabrina straight away. This is a really awkward. You showed me yeah. how to do what we manoeuvred yeah. that. Yeah. We practice it. Got it. No problem. Walkers town roundabout. Walkers town roundabout. Um, all the kind of areas that you might maybe get caught out. Yeah. And um, but the accuracy of the technical elements as well. How 
to observe correctly over the over the yeah. shoulder moving off. The amount of time you've got to do that, the accuracy on the manoeuvres, the parallel parking, the type of observation he wants on that, not dry steering, very hard thing to do. People don't mm -hmm. understand that 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 tester is very very particular in the in the manoeuvres and and how he wants them achieved and done right. And then it was motorway, then it was dual carriageway, and we section by section went through your drive until we made a clean sweep, and I was happy that. Yeah, this guy is ready for his stage two. Yeah. yeah, yeah, there was definitely things that needed brushing up, and and we got we got that done. We got the, the observation was increased massively. Um, little things with reversing around the corner, went to stop, went to let traffic past, and just just I suppose refreshing. It's it's yeah. a long time since I done the actual driving test. Yeah, so and just to refresh on all so that you, stuff you, as well. You nailed that, right? That that was stage two, and then you were nervous for stage three because that's that's the instructional ability, right? Um, and what I had told you to do was, we, I wanted to get you sixty, seventy three percent of the way, and then wait till we get a date for the exam, which we got, right? And then we back ended the the lesson so that most of the lessons were done around the exact same time as you were going to be tested, right? So. When you came in for stage three, you had no idea about how this was going to work. No idea what the layout was, the structure of the lesson planning, um, how he, the tester wants things delivered, and how you're meant to train people step by step uh, with a structure and a format, right? So you obviously got 95.5, so you lost only three marks, or four, whatever marks it was. Yeah, on three, yeah. Three, three marks, right? So out of the whole 100%, you got 95.5. So why do you think you got that score, and what... What was it that made you able to understand how this process works with in, in, in relation to the marking sheet that you got where you got your 95%? So just if you can give the viewer how we went about structuring your training for that. So we went through the, the seven parts that, Mainly, he can, yeah. that he can pick from really. Yeah. And we went through them. We took our notes down. We, we found you gave me a process to a template to, a template to follow from... The meet and greet down Learning to learning outcomes, reca recapping, outcomes, recapping uh, lesson plans, all that stuff. It was all just, it was really simple to follow. And I'll be honest with you, and as you know, like I didn't go in overly confident, but you kept saying to Trevor, trust the process, it's all there. Um, you've done the work, and and I listened to you, and we went in, and um, as yeah. you were saying, you know, yeah, we uh, we done very well in the but, end. But 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 following, it's very difficult for somebody because they think, God, oh, that marking sheet there's a lot of content on that marking sheet. But if you forget about the marking sheet and go with the structure of the delivery of how we we structured the lesson plan. So what did he pick yesterday for? It was uh, moving off. But just to go back to the marking sheet, I only looked at that marking sheet twice. Yeah, because I trusted him what you were saying to me. Look, yeah. if we follow these steps. You're going to get that we're going to We're going to take the stuff off on the marking sheet without even knowing what has to be on it. Yeah, correct, correct, correct. Um, and so what did he pick yesterday for your phase one? So he picked... Um, phase one was stopping... Or moving sorry, and stopping. Moving and stopping. And phase two? Phase two was roundabouts. Roundabouts. Well, we had done them time and time again. You had your... your, your we actually did it the hour the, before. The, the, last, the last one we done yeah. yesterday was... Uh, right before moving the... Moving and stopping. Moving yeah. and stopping, right. So... Um, you had your system already in your head. You knew what you were going to do. You were going to meet, meet and greet. You were going to recap them. You were going to give them the aims and objectives of what you're going to do on the lesson. Then you were going to show them how it was going to be done. Then you went and did the practice, recapped at the end, and gave them the information then about what you're going to do on the next on, on the next lesson. So they were the step by step process, right? Um, so you so if you were someone looking at this video, what would you say about my style of training, and what would you say to someone who's thinking about where will I train to become an instructor? Uh, personally, I'd highly recommend you. Mm -hmm. um, very patient, very knowledgeable. You know the system. You know, you're doing this stuff every day. You can see it in you. I know from other businesses that I'm involved in. When you meet someone that know what they're talking about, you can tell. I, you know, I, I didn't go too far giving out to you though, because at six foot six, <laughs> <laughs> I'm not, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna mess with this lad. You know, I'm straight now. That's it, a bit more. I, I'm like Danny DeVito in in Twins here yesterday. It was getting these photographs. But look, I suppose yeah. Thanks very much for that. But 
I just, it's an expensive process. Well, it's not an expensive process, right? You've got a career now where you can make 60, 70 grand a year um, for the process of, of whatever it costs, two, two or two and a half thousand over the course of that time. It's not a lot of expense for what, but you you got to get it right and, and, and right first time. So it proves when you're trained properly, no score, no no marks on stage two, 95.5% on stage three, you can't get any better than that really, you know? So I'm delighted to welcome you to National Driving School. I think that you're going to be a serious asset for for uh, for 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 our team. The car that he's got, which is a new MG automatic, uh, will be a big hit over over in North Dublin. And uh, we wish you well, Trev. And congratulations Thanks again. All right, Cheers. Thanks, Thanks for that. For Brilliant. Thank you.